Hello, welcome to a new video. This heap of junk in front of me is my drone flying kit for 2024. I thought I could do a little video about what's in my bag this year and maybe give some tips or things to consider if you are packing or if you are considering buying a new drone this year and things like that. Let's get moving. The first item on the heap is of course the drone. This is the DJI Mini 3 Pro. I have had it for almost exactly one year now. I really like it. It's a great little flying machine. It has great quality of videos. It does everything I want or need or wish, however you like to put it. And even more, I think I haven't used all the features there are built into this little machine. Which brings me to the DJI Mini 4 Pro. Am I upgrading? No. Actually, I even haven't looked the specs of the DJI Mini 4 Pro. One thing I held important when buying the DJI Mini 3 Pro was the 4K 60. I haven't used the 60 frames per second once. I think the slow motion on drone is a bit of a gimmick, because if you have like flowing water or something like that, it seems it looks it looks a bit unnatural when you are slowing it down. So I actually have more often than not, I have sped up drone footage instead of slowing it down. Second uh, thought about the uh, Mini 4 Pro. I wouldn't even buy the 3 Pro if I were beginning in my drone flying uh, career. I'm just a hobby amateur pilot. I wouldn't buy the 3 Pro either. It has more bells and whistles than I need and I completely overestimated the amount of flying I'm gonna do. The weather here in Hamburg has been miserable. There is absolutely no chance to fly during the winter. It either rains or it's windy. Or both. So I haven't flown for a couple of months. By all means, if you are gonna make money with your drone, buy the best ever drone, what you can afford and it will make you the money in no time. If you are amateur hobby pilot like I am, I really would maybe buy a used Mini 3 or Mini 3 Pro used if I were starting now, because I completely overestimated the amount of flying. It's fun, but always a bit of hassle. And if you consider the drone as a storytelling tool, there's only that much of drone footage you can put in one video. The second item, because the one item slipped down, I'm gonna show it as a last one. Um, the DJI RC control unit. This is great. This is like the best thing in the whole kit. I really like the big screen. I really like to fly in colder climates because I can use gloves and still control the drone. You don't have to connect your phone to your drone when you are flying and fiddle with that. I don't think there are phones even with this big screen. And if there were, I wouldn't buy them because I like my phone rather small. Great. The best part of the of the whole Mini 3 Pro kit. ND filters. The Mini 3 Pro has a fixed aperture of 1.7. So there's like one ISO you can use. And that's why you need ND filters to keep the motion blur under control. If you are filming in 25 frames per second, you should have 1 over 50 as a shutter speed. And the only way to control it in daylight is sunglasses over the drone's lens. This kit is from Freewell. It has uh, ND 4, 8, 16, 22, 20, 32, 64 and 1000. Uh, they are like fixed NDs. They are not variable. If you have a recommendation of VND variable, really would like to hear that on the comments. Otherwise, I'm gonna link all the products I have mentioned in this video here down in the description. They are affiliate links. If you need something and order through my links, I would really appreciate that. If you don't want to do that, feel free to go directly to the Amazon and hit the, hit the search bar and find out what these items are. The kit is great. To control the aperture or to control the shutter speed but it's a little bit fiddly you know they are so tiny little things and you always like drop them and a little bit of hassle that's why i would really like to have a variable that you can just adjust it and i would recommend either this set or like a variable one either way you can do the job with this also oh boring memory cards Nothing fancy, just like a waterproof, shockproof uh, little wallet for my memory cards. Green means go. If they have green tape on them, they are formatted and ready to go. 
If not, then not. I use SanDisk uh, cards. I also use ProGrade, Lexa. I haven't had any problems with them whatsoever. Get some and you are done. Batteries, I have the Flymore kit. It comes with this little nifty charging unit. Nice to have. Uh, you can use it as a power bank as well, but these batteries empty themselves if they are not connected to the USB and it takes maybe a few weeks and then they are empty. So if you have a mission, a flight, check beforehand that you really have go-go juice on your batteries. I charged them this week and they are still full. One week doesn't do anything, but if you have like two, three weeks, maybe they are empty. And just recheck. Better to be safe than sorry. Otherwise, flight time, exceptional, 40 minutes, I think. I get bored before that, so the battery runtime has never been an issue for me. And the last but not least item on the list. This is my, I like to call it an emergency pouch. It has uh, some spare parts like propellers, screwdrivers, and I made a video about this thing. You can check it over there. I never leave without this in my, in my pocket or in my bag or wherever. It has all like the most important items I need. Despite the drone itself is called Mini 3 Pro, it's really light and small, but if you add this heap of chunk together, it's gonna actually eat up pretty much space in your bag. So it's not that mini. If I were like starting right now, I would get this one used or even the Mini 3 used. See how the flying feels like, if it's something can make you money or whatever if you really 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 have fun doing it but I wouldn't start with the Mini 4 Pro. Just consider how much are you gonna use it and what is like the use case for you. Are you just gonna have fun flying around taking pictures or shooting a video? That's my drone back for 2024. Let me know in the comments what are you starting this year with and if you are having an upcoming trip or something I would love to hear from you. If you like this video, you know what to do. Please push the thumb up button, even consider a subscription if you haven't done so already. I really would appreciate that. And I see you next time on this channel when I feel like posting a video, which might be very soon. We are heading to Norway. There will be Arctic drone flight. Until then, take care, have a nice guys, stay safe and goodbye. Ooh!